Hey everybody, it's your girl Coco Kitten Bruja here and I am back with another deck review. Now, I know what you're thinking, runes, how is it a deck but it's runes? Well, um, as somebody who is learning how to use and make runes, I thought that this was a really cool way to kind of dive into it. Now this is called Runes for Modern Life um, and it is by Teresa Schwang and illustrations by Camilla Perkins. I thought that these particular cards were cool because um, it's just an easy segue into understanding the runes and, without being intimidated by the runes themselves. So let's get into it. It is a two-part box, very sturdy, um, not a lot of frills, which is all right with me. The book is bigger than the cards, obviously, which is always good. <laughs> but I'm going to set those right there. And let's go into the guidebook. The guidebook, um, very minimalist, which is cool. It goes straight into what it needs to go into, right? And it talks about how runes work, the origin of them, how to use them. Well, how to use the cards, um, which would also be, you know, how you can use the runes themselves. Then it goes into different spreads. Um, and it also even gives you a way of enchanting using runes. So in this case, you would use the cards. And then a quick reference guide to the symbols and what they mean, right? So this is a good... A good thing to take a picture of and keep on your phone just for a quick guide if you're ever in a situation where you have actual runes not the cards and want to know what they mean quick on the fly which is exactly what i did i took a picture of this it's on my phone i keep it with me whenever i'm with my runes and not this particular deck so then thankfully you guys know i love 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 a guidebook with color so we have a picture of the card, we have the symbol of the rune, and then a very quick breakdown. It's not super detailed, but it gets the point across as to what this, this particular rune means. And it just goes into each and every one. I love the imagery. I think this particular art style is cool, it's dope. Um, and then it goes into the other things, which it's funny that uh, the Dream Decoder deck uh, is made by the same uh, person just simply because uh, if you go back and look at that particular um, video I had a hard time connecting with that particular deck I digress this one is cool I love it so now let's get into the actual cards so we have that one right off the top and the thing about it, even if you uh, aren't completely familiar with the symbol, there's just a lot of imagery here. There's a lot of things that you can pick up from this particular card. Well, from the, the imagery that's displayed on the card. Um, I feel like these are standalone, um, but at the same time, if you want to create that full divination experience, with a tarot and another oracle you could just be aware of the client that you're pulling for if you're not pulling for yourself because it's very easy to get overwhelmed when you try to mix runes and tarot and oracle it can get very muddled right so be careful if you're going to use this deck with another type of divination card um as a beginner in runes myself, I will say these are very beginner friendly, um, especially if you are, like I said, intimidated by actual runes. Um, I would start with the cards. Then once you get very familiar with the symbols, you can then move on to runes themselves and you'd have no problem reading them. Uh, while these cards travel well, I feel like if you use these cards to move into actual runes, you can travel better with runes because they're typically about this big, right? They're not too big. 
But yeah, I, I, I dig this deck. I definitely give it about a, I'd say an eight out of 10, um, just because I'm still learning runes. I'm still getting into the groove of runes, but they, they will snatch you. <laughs> they will read you for filth. Uh, just because they're not tarot does not mean they don't hit hard. Uh, when it comes to cardstock, they are pretty thick. They are very thick, which means they're also easily bent. So you want to be careful with them um, when you're shuffling. There, I am lost at how many runes come in a um, set. Guys, don't hate me. Um, but there's not many of them. I want to say it's less than 30, definitely less than 30, but they shuffle pretty well. Because of the thickness of them, you can side shuffle really well with no harm done to the sides of the cards. So let's see which one comes out this time. Let's just fold it in half, take this out. We have Bacana. So let's see what Barkana is. We're going to go to the quick guide. And that is the one that looks like a B. Again, we're learning here. So that is the family card. So in this particular card, it looks like this person is doing a lot to prepare for family. So I don't know... I mean, this is Friday the 13th, November 2020. So clearly we're getting ready to be around family safely and social distancing, I would hope, as much as you can. I don't know. It's crazy times. But if you're going to gear up family, mentally prepare for family because I feel a lot of us, we're having a, a lot of difficulty this year um, with our mental health. Definitely reach out if you need to. Um, but as you guys prepare for the holidays and being around family, definitely make sure you're not taking on more than you can stand. Right now, it looks like she is carrying a lot trying to get ready for family. And I would venture to say that some of us are going to be biting on more than we can chew. If that is you, definitely take care of yourself, um, above all else. Family will be family. They'll be there no matter what, but make sure you're taking care of yourself, right? So let me know how you feel about these in the comments. If you would like to check out the runes that I make or any other of my resin products, like this beautiful little lady here who is for Ancestral Connection, check me out at prismbyckb.com. If you'd like a reading, you can always go to cococittenbruja.com and hit book now. Um, Hit like, hit subscribe, let me know how you guys feel in the comments. And until next time, peace.